All right, I want to start out by saying, Brakatha Yahweh, Brakatha Yaharashai, Brakatha Yahweh, Brakatha Yaharashai. Call Halal Yahweh by Hashem Yaharashai. Call Halal Yahweh by Hashem Yaharashai, by Hashem Makakwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles at Great Millstone. I told me this doctrine in truth and sincerity. Shalom on to the elect. Your Heavenly Father's name is Yahweh, which means He is or He exists. By Hashem in the name. The world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. We know his name to be Yahweh Shai, which means he is the deliverer. He is the savior for the Hebrew Israelites from the pedigree of your father. Bashim and the name of the Rokak Wadash, which means the Holy Spirit. That's able to give us this knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of who we are, which are the true Hebrew Israelites. If you're so-called Negro, so-called Latino, so-called Native American, or of the speckled bird looking like the other nations in your spirit, bear witness with our spirit that we are the children of Yahweh Bashim Shai, you could be one of the elect. Shalom, we've been discontinued from our heritage because we went off following after false gods and false idols, not following the law, statute, commandments that was given to us by our forefathers. And because of those offenses, we were set into captivity. But through Yahweh Hamashiach, being that perfect lamb, being that perfect sacrifice, he was given all power to be able to open the seals of the book, to be able to give this the understandings in these times through the prophets to be able to wake up the children, to be able to come back to Yahweh Shai, which is the tabernacle of David, which is the remnant, which is the elect. And with that knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, we also know who our oppressor is, which is Esau, Edom. Esau means wasted away he is, and they are the biblical Edomites that it speaks about in the scriptures. This is the so-called white man in today. The Rothschilds, the Rockefellers, the Oppenheimers, the DuPonts, the Warburgs, right? These are the wicked that are waging war on the people through a siege cutting off the food supplies, cutting off the water, cutting off the, um, you know, to be able to work ultimately to bring in their Novos Order Sequorium, okay, which is on the back of your dollar bill, which is their new world order that they want to bring in, which is a one world government, a one world religion, okay, a one world military. And with that religion, they want you to worship the beast system, which is them pushing forth the device that goes under your skin and your hand, or in your forehead that they want to implant under your under your skin so they can be able to track you through uh, their smart cities, right? Linked into a central banking digital currency, a, a cashless society. That's why they're knocking out the paper dollar, bringing in these central banking digital currencies, which they're going to be controlled by a centralized bank, which is called uh, these different blockchains, which is centralized, which means it's controlled by people that you're never going to be able to see, and it's all around the world in a, in a new world order, a great reset, a build back better, make America great way. And Jake is not invited, okay? And if you're pushing forth this word, okay, if you're a prophet, you're a true men of the Lord, you're definitely not invited. They're the, your number one enemy towards these, um, towards these elites because they know that with this word being spoken, that's the end of their kingdom, okay? That's the physician which is Yahweh Shai, exposing this devil, making him bare through this word, and it's what uh, quenching um, his kingdom. Okay, it's putting him down. These living waters are extinguishing his uh, tabernacle, his fire, his, uh, his light, and extinguishing it out. Okay, because again, this word is like, like a, what, a fire. Okay, and also, what, like this word is like what a sword, and the sword is what cutting down this economy. Okay, bringing in um, the destruction of this place, bringing in the kingdom of Yahweh Hamashiach. So what they are doing right now, which are these elites, okay, is pushing forth the Hegelian dialect, which is pressure from below, pressure from above. Okay, problem, action, solution, order out of kale, cutting off the food supplies, again, cutting off the water, okay, cutting off your, your staff of bread, okay, and make it to where you have to bow down to, to them to be able to live like they are the savior. Okay. They're, there's, they're, they're, um, coming in the image <laughs> Well, they're trying to be uh, like the most high. They think they are the most high, but the Lord has what deceived them, right? Their pride has deceived them. Right. And they, that's one of the mannerisms of Esau Edom is his pride. And he's losing the information battle through what these, uh, alternative networks, you know, TikTok, YouTube, Instagram, Okay, Odyssey, BitChute, they're all exposing, starting with the men of the Lord, the head apostles at Great Millstone, and the men on down that are pushing forth the testimony of our Lord Yahweh Shai, which is the spirit of prophecy, exposing this devil. Then the Lord also has what these alternative networks that are exposing them and what 
what the prophets are meant to do is to what be able to see what's going on in the world and be able to break it down to the scriptures to be able to give the warning to what the sheep. Okay. Um, what is that? John 21 and 17. If you love me, feed my sheep. Okay. And what? Give them warning. Okay. Warning about what? That Esau Edom, which is the white man, is going to be coming down like a madman spare none. He's going to be coming in like a flood. Okay. Waging war on the people. Right. So this article came out. August 15, 2022. So it was a couple of days ago, right? It says the DOD releases first department wide social media policy. Okay, the Defense Department today released a policy that for the first time spells out from the highest levels of defense community how DOD, military, and civilian personnel should use official social media accounts to best advance the mission of the U.S. military and further instill trust and credibility of the DOD. Because again, what did you have? You had, um, a lot of these, you have a lot of people that were in the military, they're against the government now. They're they're forming these militias, especially these low-level Edomites, because they realize that they're not part of their white, the white supremacy is up. Their time is up, and they're not part of the New World Order. And they're realizing that, which is going to create a sedition amongst people, which is a revolt. That's what the uh, the, uh, the Donald Trump thing is all about, because Trump is all about fighting, um, you know, waging war. Uh, you know, fighting for the so-called rights um, that you don't have, okay? Because he's nothing but a puppet. He's nothing but a cult of personality that they set up ultimately to draw out all these people that are against the New World Order so they can be able to easily eliminate them, putting them in a category, okay, which is the same thing they try to do, uh, you know, with um, Israel, okay, with the men of the Lord. But we know that the Lord has a hedge around his elect, okay, that are that are truly pushing this word in truth and sincerity, Meanwhile, those that are not pushing the word in truth and sincerity, coming with the true doctrine, letting the people uh, know, they're going to be the first ones uh, eliminated. Let me get a scripture real quick. Because what they want with that military is to be able to have people that can be able to um, kill on site. They have a thing called Operation Hot Musket. They have a, um, also another, um, another one called Operation Vigilant Guard. OK, they have a, a thing called Operation Gotham Shield. I've done videos on it. And what those are is all waging war on the people. OK, they're practicing with, uh, you know, in um, in the night with no lights, with uh, night vision goggles and to be able to what come against the people. And for instance, with that uh, hot sauce that they had that came out a couple of years ago. OK, the ones that didn't want to take it, what they had to leave the military or they're starting to leave the military. OK, and that's the same thing with the with the police officers over here in San Diego. You had over 200 police officers quit the force because they didn't want to comply to the hot sauce mandates. OK, because they only want people that will kill the civilians. OK, and that's what that um, Biden passed a law or, you know, uh, Pedro Joe passed a law where the House and the Senate passed a law far as. Um, far as on uh, dictatorship. OK, with that dictatorship. That leads to where they don't have to go to the House or the Senate. They don't have to answer no questions while they're killing people. Also, another thing with their legislation is they pass a law. Well, Biden, Pedro Joe, he signed a um, National Emergency Act. OK, we're in a National Emergency Act where all the rights have been given over to FEMA, which FEMA means Federal Emergency Management Agency, OK, where they can legally come into your house and execute you. OK, well, first they can legally come in that too. But legally come into your house, take you out of your house, okay, call you a health risk, bring you to these internment camps, and legally execute you with these smart guillotines, okay? Because they have a thing called what the the red list, the blue list, and the yellow list. The red list are going to be what the men of the Lord, the prophets, okay? Then you have what the blue list are going to be, what the followers and the believers, these alternative networks. Then you have the yellow list, the people that are just going to comply to whatever, okay? And they're all being categorized uh, of you know what what they're um, what their part is and what they can actually be able to either give to the new world order or not. And this devil thinks he's going to be able to accomplish his plan, but he's not going to be able to uh, uh, seek that. Okay. Seek that what he has found and where it's going to start is that people that know that they're Israel, because you have uh, camps out here that are what they're pushing forth. Um, They're pushing forth, you know, bearing arms. 
carrying arms. They're pushing forth. Well, Christ, how, how was shy? I saw two bitches yesterday, excuse my language, but preaching, <laughs> trying to preach. And then they called on like seven different names when the Lord only has one name. And that's in the ancient Hebrew, which is Yahweh and his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai. Okay. And what you see is these uh, false, these, these, because the women's supposed to keep silent in the church. Okay. Because how are you going to have order when you have a woman out there thinking that she's a man? Okay. And it just, it just makes no sense. And I just thought about that because you have people that know they're Israel. Okay. But they're not of Israel. They're not of the elect. They're not going to be saved. And we're praying we're of the hopeful elect. So real quick, first Peter four and 17 for the time has come that judgment must begin at the house of Yahweh. If it first begin at us, what shall the end be of them that obey not the gospel of Yahweh? So again, what's the gospel teaching the true doctrine? That is a sweet sound in his ear. When you come with a false doctrine or you come with gal in your mouth, that creates a, a nasty taste in Yahweh Bashem Rashai's mouth. And then he has to what? Legally, <laughs> legally, he has to, um, you know, send forth his judgment because he's known by his judgment. Right. And so, again, this goes into the people that know they're Israel, but also it goes to the regular everyday Jake, because where are they coming to? The ghettos, varios and reservations. They're coming to um, go into your houses and, and be able to take and spoil your goods. Why? Because they have a perpetual hatred. This is the, the white man. He has a perpetual hatred for you going back to uh, Cain and Abel. Cain was the wicked. OK, and Abel was the righteous. And what Cain slayed his brother and then lied about it. OK, and the devil has come nothing but to steal, kill and, and to rob and deceive. That's what he was meant to do to what dishonor. OK, and then you have what that, that same spirit of Esau is in the same spirit as Cain, which is the wicked to what dishonor. Right. And you have two thirds of our people that have Stockholm syndrome and they love this devil. They have made contracts with Esau, Edom. When the Lord told you don't make no contracts with these devils, don't don't follow their ways, don't follow these heathen customs. And what do our people do? They 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 find out they're Israel and then they still try to chase that bag, chase a woman. They still commit an adultery. They don't uh, uh, rehearse the righteous acts to the best of their ability. They just go with whatever they want. They have a, a very uh, um you know, high level of pride, just like Esau Edom. Okay. That's why the Lord has to judge first his people, but also even, uh, you know, that know they're Israel, but also to the, also this is related to what the two thirds. Okay. Because the two thirds are going to be what they're going to be sacrificed on the Mazabak, the, the altar. Okay. Because they, they mocked and scoffed the prophets, right? First Peter four and 18, if the righteous scarcely be saved, where shall the ungodly and the sinner appear? Okay, so again, the, the ungodly, okay, that's Esau, Edom, but also our people, they become um, atheists. You know, they, they, they um, have become a, what against the Lord. Okay, let me get a couple of scriptures because I keep talking about it. This is Exodus 20 and 5, because the Lord's coming to what visit this place, those that hate him. Exodus 24, and thou shalt not bow down thyself to them, nor serve them, for I am Yahweh thy power. I am a jealous God, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third, fourth generation of them that hate me. Okay, so again, that goes into the ones that are in those Christian churches, that are in Roman Catholicism, that are in Pan Africanism, walking around with the biggest unk in the world, okay, uh, with the biggest cross, you know, talking about uh, Jesus. When, when everybody knows that, that Jesus is not the real name that came about in 1524 with a guy named Gio, Gio N. Uh, Tresino, okay, invented the, what the J, which is the form of the I, okay? And, and then even you have people out here calling themselves black, which black is nothing, which black means void of light. They created black and white to what, uh, create a, what, a, a false social construct so they can be able to, because um, white means purity. And there's nothing pure about these devils. They're they're created to what dishonor, okay? And our people what worship them, right? Let's get another scripture. And the Lord's coming to visit them. He's not prolonging His word anymore, okay? Because what we're seeing is them waging war on the people. They're controlling what the freedom of speech. And once this word stops on the internet, okay, the Lord's gonna what lift uh, take the prophets off the street, and there's gonna be no more uh, uh, talking. <clears throat> Right here, this is Jeremiah 5. Let me get. This is Jeremiah 5 and 26. For among my people are found wicked men. They lay wait as, as he set snares and they set a trap and they catch him. 
Yeah, and that's what our people do. They lie in wait. You know, they'll 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 uh, uh, con and scheme. They'll kill their own cousin for for uh, you know for uh, drugs. Okay, they'll they'll sleep with another man's wife, a family member's wife. Um, you know, you have what these false prophets are. Well, false prophets, but also these false these preachers out there in these uh, uh, bull pits. You know, telling you to eat pork, it's okay. Telling you, you know, it's it's all right to be engaged in man on man, woman on woman transformers. You have, uh, you know, uh, man on man running the church. Okay, you have uh, transformers in the church, and everything is all right when you're supposed to what condemn those people that are doing that. Okay, because if you actually love somebody, you tell them the truth according to the scriptures, right? And that's what we're trying to do with our people today. Jeremiah five and twenty seven. It says, as a cage is full of birds, so are the houses full of deceit. Therefore are become great and waxing rich. Yeah, so they've gotten rich off what being wicked, right? Because, um, let me get a scripture. This is a uh, Psalms. The more wicked you are, the more exalted you are in this place. I think it's, it might be eight. Psalms 12 and eight, the wicked walk on every side when the vilest men are exalted. So the Jay-Z's, the Puff Daddies, they're exalted in this world. Uh, the Snoop Dogs, they're exalted as well for being what? Uh, the number one drug dealer, being the number one gang member, and being the number one uh, flamboyant dude. Okay, being what? Um, like that prince spirit, you know, uh, effeminate, effeminate spirit. You know, uh, you got um, uh, P. Diddy, he was speaking about um, a woman, a woman is God. Okay, and that all goes back to not having a father. OK, this where where this devil has has uh, separated us going back to slavery, separated us from, um, you know, from having that, that that family structure. And that also goes back to the curses that would fall upon us. That's another way that you know who Jake is, because those curses fall upon us the most. Jeremiah five and twenty six for among my people are found wicked men. They lie in wait and set a snares. They set a trap and catch men as cages full of birds. So are their houses full of deceit. Therefore, they become great and waxen rich. They are waxen fat. They shine. Yet they overpass the deeds of the wicked. They judge not the cause of the cause of the fatherless. Yet they prosper in the right of the needy to, to do. Do they not judge? It says, shall not I visit, visit for these things? Said Yahweh, shall not my soul be avenged as such nation as this? Yeah, because this, uh, you know, two thirds of our people have become another nation. Okay, and they're going to be nothing but what sitting ducks. Okay, when Esau Edom comes in like this flood, because again, only the only people in the military are going to be straight killers that are going to be willing to what knock off people. Plus, they're going to have that hot sauce in them. They're going to turn on that 5G. They're going to turn on that 6G. Okay, which which is going to be called what the Morberg's juice. If you don't know what that is, look it up. The Morberg's juice. Okay, which is the people that what took the hot sauce and took all the jump shots. Okay, once they turn on that uh, uh, frequency, uh, they're going to be walking around like zombies. That's why the CDC. Uh, pass uh, or put out a um, flyer or put out a um, announcement that, you know, to, to gear up for a zombie apocalypse. OK, so when you see this, the DOD, the Defense Department, you know, uh, giving these warning on these social media platforms, that's ultimately so they can be able to kick out the people that are against um, that are against this new world order, because when you had um, you had people, this was recently in the last year, they were speaking against the what? The, the hot sauce, okay? And now they're passing what legislation? They're speaking what draconian. Sakia, it says the DOD instruction 5417 titled Official Use of Social Media for Public Affairs Purposes provides principles for social media use with DOD. Discretion regarding records management procedures for social media accounts and guidance to ensure personal social media accounts are not misrepresented or misinterpreted as official accounts. Okay, so um, you had a thing in New York. Uh, I think her name is Herschel, something like that. She's the um, She replaced the um, Kuma, right? And what she did is she passed a law um, that you that they have to check your social media account if you want to bear arms. Our weapons of warfare are not carnal, but this world is carnal. OK, and, the, and and Babylon, the great, which Babylon means uh, confusion and America means bitter. Right. Is the number one place for what weapons and bearing arms. And they want to take away those those arms um, from you. Um, because they uh, they want they're going to they want see Esau is a punk. And what he wants you to do is be 
to have completely nothing. So he could just be able to come and take you to these camps, you know, execute you, uh, you know, t- you know, use your body parts, uh, use the blood and all these different things. That's what they want to do. They want to. That's what that's what they are. That's why they go over to these third world countries. They don't go beef in with Russia. Now they're, they're starting to. OK, that's ultimately prophecy, but but they still don't do it. They just they're selling wolf tickets. Right. Because they know that they'll get slaughtered. Right. But they'll do it to these other little countries by coming in, bringing their militia, bringing their tyranny, bringing their um, their draconian measures and, and using a uh, usury. And then if you don't comply, they'll just knock you off. Look at the presidents in Tanzania, Zimbabwe, uh, the, the Japanese president. OK, uh, Tanzania, uh, Haiti. OK, all those places they got knocked out because they didn't comply to the mandates. Right. It says, while some military services and other agencies published social media policies years ago, DO, uh, it says, uh, DOD 5417 is the department's first instruction that provided Pentagon level department wide guidance that specifically addresses the use of media. The DOD chief information officer previously issued online information management and electronic messaging to provide broad policy guidance in the secure appropriate use of media the new policy spe- specifically addresses public affairs uses and responsibilities it's long overdue and it's just going to skip around there had been efforts to pass to do but it's an organization the size of the magnitude you need the full coordinate and shore viewpoints are heard and represented we wanted to make sure the service were collaborators okay um It says, O'Hara says, policies that the department may have stated developing in the past but had never finalized would quickly show their age. They won't happen with the new published instruction. Okay, we're trying to get the actual meat in there. Um, it says, social media has effect on every side, on every one of your service members, civilians, contractors, and families, whether they run official account or have heard the Twitter we owe it to all of them that have one central policy that provides clearly altercated standard operation accountability control. That's all they're trying to do is control. Now, this is just a bunch of, you know, I basically just want to bring out the information far as they, they passed the actual uh, legislation, right? Um, it says our aim is not to be prescriptive or restrictive, but rather to lay out some common sense rules that simply have been formally educated at this level. So again, we're not trying to be prescri- restrictive. Let's just look at this word restrictive. That's what that's what laws are. That's what rules are. Restrictive. They restrict you. Okay? Because what happens if you don't comply to them? Restrictive. They punish you. Okay? Now you don't have an account. Right? It says imposing restrictions, limitations, or some activities or freedoms. Yeah, so taking away your freedom. Okay, and that's what they're doing with the military. And they're also doing this other parts. I have some more articles um, that I want to bring out. I just want to bring out this one first. Prescriptive. Prescriptive. Relating to imposition or enforcement, a rule or a method. Tyrannical. Yep. Ex- exercising power in a cruel and arbitrary way. Because what's going to happen to these people that are coming against their new world order? They're going to be kicked out the service. What happens when you don't take the uh, the hot sauce? You get kicked out of the service. Okay. It says authori- uh, Let me see. Authoritarian. Authoritarian, favoring or enforcing strict obedience to authority, especially that of the government, at the expense of personal freedom. Yep. Because everything they say, just to because what she was saying was, no, we're not trying to do that, right? This is how they speak. Let's just get the scriptures real quick. <clears throat> Psalms 55 and 20. Let me start from. Yep. Psalms 55 and 9. Destroy, O Lord, Yahweh Shai, and divide their tongues, for I have seen violence and strife in the city. So their tongues are divided because you have the Democrat versus the Republican. Okay. You have what, um, you know, the, the true all, all out uh, military person. And then you have what the people that are just going along with the laws. Okay. They're both set against uh, another. 
okay? And they're what? Divided. They have confusing plans. They say one thing, then they do another, okay? And that's the Lord uh, intervening. He's thorning um, their progress. He's interrupting their, their enterprise. It says, 10 day and night, they go about upon the walls thereof. Mischief also and sorrow are the midst of it. Yeah, so its walls are patrolled day and night against invaders, but the real danger is wickedness within the city. Yeah, so where's the wickedness? Inside these uh, military services, inside these uh, uh, these um, police forces. Okay, why? Because they're ultimately ran by lower, lower level uh, luminaries. Okay, and they're all carrying out the deeds of these elites, of these wickeds to bring in what? Their Novus Order Secorium, their New World Order. 11, wickedness is in the midst thereof, and deceit and gal depart not from the streets. Yet everything is falling apart. Threats and cheating are rampant in the streets. So again, you have these uh, generals um, uh, being paid for. You have these uh, politicians being paid for by George Soros and by the ultimately by these elites. Okay, you have um, where there was the one guy he was talking about um, when the boat crashed over there, in, it's over here in San Diego, it had crashed and basically he exposed them and then he was supposed to be going to get fired. They put it all over the news, shamed him, and then they came back and said, oh, no, he, he was right, you know, and then they're also what they have. There was a lady, the lady that just died over there, the uh, blonde lady, right? She died. She was also uh, going to come out against one of the, um, one of the, one of the, the military officials, one of these military officials, okay? And what are they trying to do? They're trying to, what, tie up loose ends. Anybody that's talking, they just cut them off. If you're saying anything on uh, social media, we're going to cut you off, okay? So this makes sense right here. This is Psalms 55 and 11. Everything is falling apart. Threats and cheating are rampant in the streets. Yeah, so no one has no um, loyalty anymore, okay? They don't have no loyalty uh, um, even amongst their own, own place. And that goes into what, Mark? Let's get it, Mark. 3 and 24, that their house is what being divided. Mark 3 and 24, if a kingdom be divided against itself, the kingdom cannot stand. And if a house be divided against itself, the house cannot stand. And if Satan rise up against himself and be divided, he cannot stand, but have an end. No man can enter into a strong man's house and spoil his goods, except he will first bind the strong man and he will spoil his house. Okay, who's that strong man? That's Yahweh Shai. That's the, the number one prophet, right? And then he sent forth what his hands, which are the, the prophets, which are many prototypes of Yahweh Shai, what abiding this devil by what this word. Okay. And that's that what dreadful sound in his ear. And it's cutting his place uh, to pieces. Hosea 6 and 5. Therefore, I've hewn them by the prophets. I've slain them by the words of my mouth. And their judgments are as light that goes forth. Yeah, that word hewn means cut. And it's cutting this, uh, cutting this place down. Because what the mysteries were given to what the servants, the prophets. And there's what trouble in the city. Okay. And they have to try to what come up with legislations to be able to stop it, but they can't stop prophecy. Amos three and six shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the people not be afraid. Shall there be evil in the city and Yahweh had not done it. So the Lord's bringing forth his judgment. He's not prolonging his words anymore. He's, he's uh, executing uh, um, what he said he was going to do in the scriptures. Right. Seven, surely the Lord, Yahweh Shem Hashai would do nothing, but he revealeth his secret unto his servants, the prophets. That's right. So the prophets are able to have the understanding to be able to have that seven seven operations of, of, of the body, okay, of, of to be able to see what's going on and be able to filter it through the scriptures and be able to feed the sheep and make it plain upon tables. It says, eight, the lion hath roared, who would not fear? Yahabah Shemarshai has spoken, who can but prophesy? That's right. And we heard that speech and we were afraid. Okay, it is a, is a fear to what fear uh, is a treasure to fear Yahweh Shai because that's going to be what the uh, stability in our times. Because again, we're headed into dark times, especially if you push it forth this word, right? Isaiah thirty three and six, and wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and the strength of thy salvation, and the fear of Yahweh is his treasure. So it's a beautiful thing to fear Yahweh Shemar Shai right now. Okay, and those that don't fear Yahweh Shemar Shai, those that are what not in that secret place, they're going to get destroyed. Psalms 25 and 14, the secret of Yahweh is with them that fear him, and he will show them his covenant. My eyes are ever toward the Yahweh, and he shall pluck my feet out of the net. Because right now we're in a net, we're in a trap. But the Lord is lifting us up upon that rock, right? Setting us upon that rock. 
Psalms 27 and delivering us from our enemies. Psalms 27 and 1, the Lord Yahweh is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord Yahweh is my strength of whom, it says, the strength of my life. Whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked, even my enemies and my foes came upon me to eat my flesh, they stumbled and fell. Through a host shall encamp against me. Yes, so a host is an army. Should encamp against, against me. My heart, which is your mind, your lahab, right, uh, shall not fear. Through war shall rise up against me, and this I will be confident. Aren't they rising up in war, passing these legislations, being more draconian? And if you don't comply to the to the rules, they'll just shut you off, right? One thing I have desired of Yahweh that I will seek after that I may dwell in the house of Yahweh all the days of my life. Behold the beauty of Yahweh and the inquire in his temple, for in the time of trouble shall hide me in his secret, shall hide me in his pavilion. Sakia, for in the time of trouble he shall hide me in his pavilion, in the secret of his tabernacle he shall hide me, shall set me high upon a rock. Okay, high upon a rock, right? And Yaharashai is what that rock, okay, that rejected cornerstone, and that's going to be able to uh, guide us to be able to lift us up when that tempest comes down, when Esau Edom comes in like a flood, and those that built their house upon sand, they're going to get caught up in the said perils, because we know that the what this word. Or this, uh, the Lord's name is what a strong tower, and those that run into it are safe. Let's get that Proverbs eighteen and ten. The name of Yahweh is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and are safe. Okay. It says uh, eleven. The rich man's wealth is a strong city and as high as a wall in his own conceit. It says before destruction the heart of a man is haughty. Before honor is humility. Okay. And so we have to what be humble before we can actually be able to get honored, right? And that's uh you know that scripture right there, eleven. I read that because uh, Joe Butthead, Pedo Joe, he's building over a five hundred thousand um, a fence around his house because he's because supposedly because of the immigrants, okay? And that's showing you what that Jeff was sounding is in his ear. They know that what they have but a short time, and how they speaking is what first. I'm gonna get go back to that. How they speak is what with that slick tongue. We just we don't want to be we don't want to do nothing. You know, we're just going to, you know, we just want to set some guidelines and then what they start to be more draconian. Right. Because they make it so where they can be able to uh, infiltrate it, just like when you go into the courts. OK, whenever that you're in the court system, they always have some sort of loophole. OK. And Jake's not invited into that loophole. OK. And that's how we end up getting in trouble through if we're in the court system. Right. Psalms 55 and 19. Because it, again, it speak the the the, um, the language in the court system is what Latin going back to Rome, okay. It says uh, Psalms fifty five and nineteen. Yahweh shall hear and afflict them, even that abide of the old Salah, because they have no changes. Therefore, they fear not Yahweh. So these devils don't fear Yahweh Shem Shai, okay? Because again, they were created to dishonor. Twenty. He had put forth his hands against such as be at peace with him. He had broken his covenant. So any promises that he made to you far as um you know when you're in the military they say we're going to take care of you you're going to be a soldier you're going to are you going to be honored they don't give a fuck cuz most of the time the people that are in the streets they're actually military soldiers you know my, my father was in the military now he wasn't in the street but when he when all that stuff happened when he was in those wars and things like that you have a lot of um you have to have post traumatic stress from that you know from from seeing people dying and things like that okay and these devils don't care. They just they they just send the people over. They're not in actually war. They're just pushing the button and telling people to go. Okay, and our people go because they think that they're defending a country that's honorable, but there's nothing honorable at this place. America means bitter. Okay, Babylon means confusion. Right? And that's confusion when we're over in all, everybody else's place, stealing their goods, spoiling their goods, killing their children. I was gonna do a video, this this guy that he was in the Afghanistan war and he was exposing uh, the things that they did, you know, testifying of the things that he did over there, the the raping of the women, you know, the killing of the children. OK, the, the um, you know, constant uh, going against humanitarian laws. Right. So Psalms 55 and 21, the words of his mouth were smoother than butter, but war was in his heart. His words were softer than oil, yet were they drawn swords. So they're coming with that soft, you know, we just want to have some guidelines. But really, if, you, if you're saying something against this truth, or Sakya, if you're saying something against their, their new world order, what are they going to do? Hit you with a draconian measure. They're going to call you extremists, right? 
Let me get another scripture before I go back to that article. Psalms 58 and 2. Yeah, in their heart, they work wickedness. Yeah, they weigh violence in their hands in the earth. Yeah, so they're weighing the violence. They're saying, hey, if we if a couple if a couple million people die, what's the difference? You know, uh, they're just nothing but goyim. They're worthless eaters. OK, it says three. The wicked are estranged from the womb. They go astray. They go astray as soon as they be born speaking lies. OK, and that started what in the mid 1300s when this devil was loosened from what that deadly wound when he was over there in the um, Russian, Russian, Georgia, Caucasus Mountains. OK, eating uh, juniper roots and wearing his underwear until it rotted off, speaking like cavemen. OK, and that's where the Lord raised him up to be able to um, be able to um, control the world, showing you that the Lord can raise up anybody that he wants. And he raised up the most vilest man. Right. Um, to be able to run, run this world. And our people think that this guy is a good guy when he's nothing but the wicked and he's being exposed for who he is, that he is the son of perdition, that he is the, the wicked, right? And people are all going to know who the wicked is. Uh, the man of sin shall be revealed, Second Thessalonians 2. And they started speaking lies by uh, what um, the Renaissance era, which is the rebirth of Rome. This is nothing but an extension of Rome over here in Babylon the Great, which is America. Okay, and they started what? A conoclasm, which was covering the faces of the judges thereof, covering up the dark images of our Lord Yahweh Shai and the disciples, putting forth their pale face, uh, homosexual images. Okay, going back to what? Serapis Christi, what? Ptolemy II, you know, uh, Ptolemy thought he was a god. He had a son, Ptolemy II, and then he, Serapis Christi, and people worshiped him like he was the savior. Okay, our people were worshiping him back then. Okay. Then also you have what in the um, Caesar Borgir, okay, in the mid 1300s when he came out, <clears throat> falling, falling after, um, you know, his son, okay, because he believed he was a god. There's nothing new under the sun. Then they were worshiping his son, okay, which was uh, painted by what Michelangelo, those those images that you see, and now you have what um, uh, Jesus Christ, which the word Jesus, the letter J came about in 1524. Okay, and people call on that, which Jesus actually just means uh, earth pig. And it actually goes back to Zeus and Jupiter, going back to their idol worship. Okay, and anybody that's worshiping those names is going to be destroyed, as I read in Exodus 25, because the Lord's coming to visit this place. So that's though that's a, a you know a short history of all the lies that they have done. Okay. For their poison is like poison of a serpent. It says they are like a deaf adder, they stop stop of that ear. Yeah, so their words are venom, okay? Because again, our people believe every single word that these devils speak. They go along right with it. You know, they don't, let me get a scripture. Because this is in the NLT. They'll, they'll say, oh, when, when, the, when the hot sauce came out, what happens? They just went right down there to go get that, go get that. And now they're doing the Harlem Shake and the Justin Bieber. Yeah, right here. So I want to, I'm going to, I'm just going to read this in the NLT. We'll start from uh, five. Psalm 73 and five, it says, they don't have troubles like other people. They are not plagued with problems like everyone else's. Okay. And this goes into what Esau Edom, the white man, he's not plagued like others. They could kill a Jake in the streets and they don't even get charged. They can sell drugs and they'll get a lesser charge. Okay. Going back to what the, the crack epidemic, when you had crack and Coke. Okay. Uh, where, where Jake, if they had a little piece of uh, a crack, not saying that it's right, but I'm just saying they would get what 10, 20 years. But if, but if you had uh, what what Esau had, which would be the powder, okay, they would they wouldn't even get no time. Okay, that's just a, a small a pedophilia. That's another sign they get caught with pedophilia, and then they're rewarded. We already read in Psalms 12 and 8 that the vilest man is exalted. It says six. They wear pride like a jeweled necklace and clothe themselves with cruelty. Yeah, they they wear uh, blood on their on their sleeves, basically, you know, spiritually, because everything they do is nothing but abomination. Everything is violence. Blood is on their hands. OK, it says seven. These fat cats have everything their hearts could ever wish for. Yeah, they have islands where they can be able to go over there and practice their pedophilia. They have castles where they can be able to go worship a uh, shaitan by doing these uh, 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 these rituals, these um, these demonic rituals. OK, they have what uh, airplanes, you know, jets, private jets. They have uh, their own boats, you know, yachts. They have what uh, bunkers. Uh, they have all the riches. They can go to the best schools. They can eat 
They're not eating McDonald's and Burger King. They have chefs. Okay, their clothes are, are, are uh, you know, probably the best of the best far as fabrics. Okay, and what they they still want more. What do they want? They want your soul. They want your VMAT too. They want your God gene. They want to have that device implanted inside of you. It says eight. They scoff and speak only evil in the pride, and they seek to crush others. Yeah, so they scoff, they mock and scoff the prophets. Hey, that's misinformation. Hey, that's different disinformation. Hey, we're gonna pass a law to to come up against that. And now, now you are you are the um, you know you are the uh, extremists. You know when it's actually them. It says nine. They boast against very heavens, and the words strut throughout the earth. Yeah, so they boast against the heavens saying that their science is going to be able to save you. Okay, their left-handed science is going to be able to save you. You can live forever. You have your you have a back problem. We can heal your back. You you can't speak. We can be able to have you speak. Um, you know, you don't know Spanish or you don't know French. We can be able to to put a device in you and you can be able to learn all these things. Okay, come in with their what pseudoscience, which pseudo or which uh the word lying goes back to pseudos, which goes into a broad sense what it not what it seems to be. Okay, come in with their false philosophies, right? Their false, their, their science falsely so-called, because science means to know. And anything that they're doing is nothing but abomination to the Lord, okay? 10, and so the people are dismayed and confused, drinking in all their words. Yeah, so again, they, they, they bite on every word. If Esau tells you, hey, go get, the, go get the hot sauce, people, Jake goes right down and do it. But if they, but they see the men of the Lord, they, they mock and they scoff at it because, again, that goes back to Stockholm Syndrome. So I just want to get that point. Psalms 58 and 4, their poison is like a poison of a serpent. They are like a deaf adder that stoppeth that ear, which will not hearken to the voice of charmers, charming never so wisely. Break the teeth, O Yahweh, in their mouth. Break out their great teeth of the young lions, O Yahweh. So, again, they're in great strength. They're in great power. And that teeth goes into what their military, their guns their legislation, their economy, which is all being broken down. Prophecy is happening. Okay, they will not hearken to the charmers. Yeah, they're not going to hearken to what the prophets, right? And the Lord is not holding back what his um his judgment anymore. This is Ezekiel 12 and 28. It says, Therefore say unto them that said, Yahweh, Bashim Yahashai, it says, There shall none of my words be prolonged anymore, but the word which I have spoken shall be done, said Yahweh, Bashim Yahashai. So the word... That he has spoken that there would be judgment for these uh, heathens, for Esau, Edom, and even two-thirds of our people. He's not prolonging it anymore, okay? So let's go back to this uh, article. It says, in addition, in detailing the roles of responsibility, the DOD leadership enforcing responsible social media practices, the new policy offers as guidance to department personal and general generate content and official social media platforms to ensure response use of medium key elements to consider establishing a new presence or expanding new platforms or authority to close unused accounts as social media is mismanaged or mishandled the u.s government's reputation with american public relations relationships with and in integrity let me get that interagency interagency so that's taking place between two agencies. Yeah, so you have the Alphabet Boys. You have what the uh, the FBI, the CIA. You have what the IRS. Okay, you have all these agencies that are what consulted together to be what um, uh, those elites' agendas um, carrying them out. Okay, because they're all lesser luminaries. International, state, local, tribal entities, military operations, reputation for a high ethical and professional standard may be compromised. The policy warns social media pra practitioners. The guidance is meant to ensure DOD's credibility and avoid controversy while using social media to share its admission. So which means that if you're speaking against any of these things, you're gonna be taken out of the military. In a digital world where lines of the truth, authenticity are so often blurred, it's important that institutions like us have trusted ver verifiable and reliable presence we have a duty to American, okay, America means bitter, people to show their work we're doing, to tell the story of our service members, and to present the information through channels, the use of daily lives, yeah, so to snitch, okay, so we have that, we have another one that the brother uh, put on the chat, right, um, that just came out, I think it was last night. 
Bear with me. Yeah, so this is the World Economic Forum launches AI controlled global intelligence apparatus to erase unapproved ideas from the internet. Okay, so they want to use their AI, which is their artificial intelligence, which is not natural, to be able to combat, um, uh, you know, use the algorithm to be able to to um, ultimately try to take away this truth, take it off the internet. Okay. So this is a WEF, which is the World Economic Forum, which is what? Um, uh, Carl Schwab, okay, which is you will own nothing and be happy, the Great Reset. Yuval Noah Herrera says, um, I just did an article on it yesterday, or epistle yesterday, on that he wants to eliminate the vast majority of people because he believes that only the smart people can be able to run the world, okay, which they're not smart at all. And, and the smart people are going to run the world. Those that have wisdom, which is those that, that seek Yahweh Bashem Shai, those that are with Yahweh Bashem Shai are going to be running the world. It's not going to be uh, these devils, okay? So I just want to bring that out. Um, the solution to online abuse, AI plus human intelligence. Okay, this was just another article. It says, bad actors perpetuating online harms are getting more dangerous. It's sophisticated. So that's what they're trying to say, that Alex Jones, that he's, um, you know, part of a, a hate group because he told the truth about uh, what's going on with that school. So they're preparing him as this bad guy, made him pay, what, I think $46 million to, what, the recipients, the the family members. And then what he he's um, backing, what, Trump. And Trump is saying, you know, fight for your rights. And then what he got raided. So all these are enchantments, okay, to be able to um, ultimately come against the men of the Lord, okay. And we are what less Satan shall get advantage, of, less Satan should get an advantage of us. We are not ignorant of Satan's devices. Second Corinthians two and eleven, okay. This is existing mythology. This is a um, more dangerous, sophisticated, challenging current current trust safety possession safety po possessions. Existing methodologies, including automated detection, manual moderation, automated detection, manual moderation, limited new framework incorporating the strengths of humans and machines is required. OK, and doesn't it speak about. Um, let me get that. That's in the scriptures. That's they frame it mischief. Let me get let me start with this. This is a. Uh, let me go to Revelation 12, because what are they doing? They're, they're trying to what categorize us, put us in the category, okay? That's why it's very important to have integrity and this thing to not be carrying arms, because, again, you're going to get the whole Congress. Well, first of all, you're going to get knocked off because they're going to go after you uh, first because they're creating, um, you know, scenarios, films, and putting them all together where they can be able to put them on the news to be able to demonize us, okay? And if you can't see that, then the Lord has blinded you and you don't have a hedge, Okay, Revelation 12 and 10, I have heard a loud voice saying in heaven, now has come salvation and strength in the kingdom of Yahweh, and the power is Hamashiach, for the accuser of thy brethren is cast down, which accused them before Yahweh day and night. Okay, who is that accuser? That's Esau Edom, and that's what he's doing. He's going to be accusing us what of streamers, because everything that everything that this word uh, symbolizes is what against what uh, this devil, because this devil is what um, devil means what um, adversary. OK, which means that he's against he's against anything that's righteousness. And he's what? Uh, what is that? Isaiah 29, 16. He's turned this place upside down. OK, people are starting to, uh, you know, um, people were for a long time uh, believing this devil and what he was actually speaking about, that he actually uh, was doing the right things. But now he's been exposed. OK, and he's been uh, accusing what the prophets, the men of the Lord, saying that what they are, the people, they are the uh, people of the of the Bible. OK, when they're nothing but, uh, you know, small hats, they're nothing but the synagogue of Satan. OK, they're nothing but um, um, deceivers. They're nothing but imposters. Right. Revelation 12 and 11. And, the, and it says, and they overcame him by the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimony. And they love not their lives unto death. Yeah, because we can be able to be killed for this truth. And some of Revelation 2 and 10. You know, it speaks about some of us shall be in uh, camps, you know, these internment camps. And also what uh, Revelation uh, 20 and 4, where it speaks about, um, you know, some of us shall be beheaded for the truth. Okay, that's why it says in the scriptures, you got to be fully persuaded in your mind. You know, you got to what? Count the cost. Because, again, 
Now, Yahweh Shai is going to give you life in this truth. Okay, he's going to give you life. He's going to give you protection if you truly believe in the report, if you're of the elect. Okay, but if you're just, you know, going half-ass, you know, being double-minded, you know, uh, I'm in the world, but then I'm kind of in the truth, you're going to get you're going to get spewed out. It speaks about that in Revelation 3 and the blood because the blood of the lamb, which is what? Yahweh Shai. Okay, Yahweh Shai is what that blood. Okay, that he sacrificed and that's how he's coming back because the currency that we're dealing with is what? Blood. Okay, and um, and that's the ransom. Okay, there's not the Yahweh Shai is not coming back any other way. He's coming back for blood. It speaks about the Isaiah 34 and 5. Okay, uh, Isaiah 63, right? Uh, Matthews 10 and 34, coming back with that great sword, right? Revelation 12 and 12. It says, Therefore rejoice, ye heavens that dwell therein, and woe to the habitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil has come down to you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. Yeah, so he has to come with what everything that he has, with the kitchen sink. Okay, and who's rejoicing? What the um the men of the Lord, the true men of the Lord are rejoicing because you're seeing the prophecies happening. Okay, who's the devil? That's Esau Edom. He's the adverse to anything that's righteousness. Okay, he has but a short time because the triumph of the wicked is but for a short time. He's only open for what? A little season. That's roughly paraphrasing that. I'm going to go to that after. Revelation 12 and 13. And when the dragon saw that he was cast into the earth and persecuted the woman which brought forth the man child. Okay, so that dragon goes into what? Esau Edom. That goes into what? Rome, right? He's being cast down from his estate. Okay, what persecuted the woman? Who's the woman? That's going to be the elect because we're known as a, as a delicate woman because Yahweh Shai is the husbandman and we are his his wives. Okay, and he's coming to what? Uh, get his wives. That's why we're supposed to, um, you know, repent the repent for our sins. Okay, make notarian to the Lord. Okay, and um, and pray that the Lord has that cloak around us, has that white robe around us, you know, spiritually for our sins and brought forth the man child. That man child is Yahweh Shai. Okay, he's coming forth. He was born as what? Through man. Okay, come, he came in the flesh. Now he's coming back as an angelic force. Okay, and these devils are going to be waging war on starting with the elect. It's good set against evil. Okay, and, and spoiler alert, the righteous win. Okay, the righteous win. Yahweh Shai wins and the elect wins. But we have to endure all things for the elect's sake. We have to endure all these things, the persecution. Okay. So let's go back to the article. See if we got any more in this. Let's see. Oh yeah, con. Uh, yeah, Framish. Want to get that word Frameth? I think that's Psalms. Let's see. Psalms ninety four. And uh, I think it's about twenty. Okay, bear with me. All right, Salakia. So Psalms 94 and 20. Shall the throne of iniquity have fellowship with thee, which frameth mischief by law? Okay, so again, what Esau Edom is what? Nothing but iniquity, nothing but abomination, nothing but what? Uh, dishonor, sin upon sin. Okay, so should we have fellowship with uh, people doing wickedness that are coming up against us, that are mocking and scoffing, that are uh, pulling out lies and deception, pulling out mischief? So I want to get this word frameth. Because when you go into that word uh, accuser, right, in Revelation 12 and 10, that accuser, it means to categorize. And that's what they're trying to do is categorize us as a hate speech group, okay, as extremists when we're just coming straight out the scriptures, okay, which frameth. Yeah, to form, to fashion, okay, and that's what they're doing. They're fashioning, putting all the groups all together, and those that are running around with what, uh, those that are saying that they're coming with um, or that are having arms, bearing arms and things like that, um, you know, coming with these, uh, uh, you know, uh, being un unequally yoked with unbelievers as far as you have certain groups that are forming with uh, the, the Black Panthers. And we know Black Panthers was what um, a group that was uh, formed, um, you know, through violence. OK, that's why it was taken down, ultimately was infiltrated. Yeah, to frame, to preordain, to purpose of situation, to form, to be created, okay? And they have created also these uh, certain groups, their Jesuits, spirits, you know, to be able to infiltrate, creating these opposition groups, okay? Like uh, Proud Boys and, 
and Black Lives Matter and, and Antifa, all these things are set up ultimately to come against the prophets. Even when you had the January 6th uh, thing at the um, at the White House, that was all to be able to frame mischief to ultimately come after um, the, the men of the Lord. That's them framing framing mischief. Okay, or them framing, right? Let's see. Uh, let's get some words in here and see. Yeah, right here. This is the one I want to get. This is Hebrews uh, 3334. Strong's age 3334. Yatser. 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 So this is the one I want to get right here. This is in the root word. It says to bind, to be distressed, to be in distress, to be cramped by, to narrow, to be scant, and to be in straits, to make narrow, to cause the distress, to be siege. Okay? And that's what they're doing. They're sieging on the people. Okay, this is when we have to truly trust in Yahweh Shemashai, trust in him for the want of all things, for water, for food, for shelter, okay, for um to be able to what break that um sword of, of what the uh, break that teeth of what these heathen. Okay, distress. Yeah, you're gonna be distressed because again, your man's foe shall be of his own household. There's gonna be um, you know, your own household coming against you. Okay, scant. Let's get this word scant. To scant, to barely sufficient, to be adequate, okay? And that goes into what, uh, uh, you know, perplexity, okay? There shall be what signs of perplexity, which perplexity means what the one of all things. And only the elect's going to be able to what have that, um, then shall be known whom I chosen. They're going to be able to have all the things that you need to be able to uh, survive what this all out um, siege on the people, okay? Yeah, provide gradually or ins insufficient amounts, deal with and adequately neglect. Yeah, and they've been neglecting our people. Okay, they'll, they'll give you uh, these uh, bodegas, these 7-Elevens that have nothing but trash in them. You know, these uh, sodas and, and chips, and they're nothing but what? They have nothing but what? GMO foods, genetically modified organisms that have no nutrients in them. Okay. And that's what, that's distress, but it's going to what increase because, again, they're sieging on what? On the people. Right, poisoning the water. Okay. Yeah, right here. Hey, Salakia. Uh, Salakia. So I want to get this other word, uh, mischief. Because that's what they're doing. They're doing these secret councils. So far, and then what are they doing? They're coming out, uh, coming out and, and putting them on the people, testing them on the people. So mischief, uh, toil, trouble, labor, mischief. Okay. And that's going to be mischief when they're what? Coming against the men of the Lord. Okay, uh, falsely accusing us, saying that we're extremists. Okay, because every again everything that this word is about is 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 anti <laughs> anti uh, uh, wickedness. Okay, is against wickedness. Right. Okay, because we're dealing with the devil. Okay, miserably pain, per, purse, preserveness. Okay, toil. Yeah, because we're gonna be ripped out of our houses. Right. I don't want to get this other word. This other word, law. Psalms 90, uh, this is the Hebrews. Strong's age, 2706. Hulk. 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 Okay, this is the Hebrew 2706. It says a statute ordinance limits something prescribed. Okay, and they have prescribed this what? Through their legislation, through their draconian measures. Okay. It says a uh, prescribed limit, boundary, decree, ordinance, law in general. Yes, I do. It's lucky about that. I'm over here at the tire shop. So, you know, but when the spirit jumps on you, you just got to do the work, right? Um, let's see. Okay. And that's what they're doing. They're setting forth what their own laws. Let me, let me go a little bit deeper. One who decrees, lawgiver, something... Uh, decreed by the law and that's what they're doing they're doing what unrighteous decrees let's get that this is uh, isaiah and that's all through what their policy because they don't like the the sound of this new song okay isaiah 10 and 1 woe unto them that decree unrighteous decrees and write grievances which they have prescribed okay they have prescribed these what through their think tanks through their uh, bilderberg meetings through their uh, wef meetings Okay, their Davos meetings, United Nations General Assembly meetings, and they have consulted against what thy hidden ones, which are the Hebrew Israelites, right? Let's get a couple more scriptures. This is Daniel 8, 
and 25. Now, this happened during Antiochus uh, Epiphanes, okay, back in the, what, the Greek uh, Empire, but it's the same, same Edomites. They're doing the same thing uh, now, and it applies today, applies to today. Daniel 8 and 25, and through his policy also he shall cause craft to prosper in his hand, and he shall magnify himself in his heart. So again, when you go into the word craft, it goes into what that cunning hunter, he's a cunning hunter. You have what, the, um, when they go hunting for deer, what do they do? They'll put out a, a, a you know, a fake deer out there. They'll um, put the, what the scents on. They'll put, um, you know, they'll have the, the um, they can be able to whistle for the, the ducks or the deer, whatever that they're hunting. Okay. And that what enchants what um, the, the prey to come in. And that's what they're doing with what these devices. Okay. They're, they're saying, hey, we'll give you this, uh, we'll give you a certain amount of money. If you just, um, you know, take this device, we'll help out your family. You can have a house, everything like that. That's that craft. Okay. That also goes into Ephesians 6 and 12, 6 and 11, which speaks about the wiles of the devil. And that wiles goes into their craftiness. Okay. Because again, he's cutting off all the resources, problem, action, solution. The problem is you don't have no food. The action is you start tripping out. The solution is here, we got this genetically modified foods. We got these uh, 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 insect foods, okay? These insects, things like that, right? So in his heart, yeah, so in his lahab, in his mind, he believes that he's going to be able to accomplish what he's what he's uh, pushing forth. But we know it's going to be what thwarted through. Okay, the Lord's going to what make him so he's, he's not going to be able to perform his enterprise. And by peace shall destroy many. He shall also stand up against the prince of princes, but he shall be broken without hand. Okay, and he shall destroy many with what peace? He's coming with, hey, I'm just trying to help you. Okay, but we know that's all what, uh, nothing but lies and deception. He's speaking with what, a double tongue? Speaking with that smooth tongue? This is Daniel 7 and 25. And he shall speak great words against the most high and he shall wear out the saints of the most high and think to change times and laws and they shall be given into his hand until the time and the times and dividing the time so again laws change times and laws because they didn't have these certain laws before but now they're having them because what they don't like the sound of what's coming out of uh, you know the uh, tiktok instagram which is what this new song okay so they're trying to what seek uh, through their legislation to their uh uh, um, propaganda to be able to what um, come against the saints, okay. This is also let me get another one. This is Revelation thirteen and eleven. Revelation thirteen and eleven, and behold, another beast coming out of the earth, and he had two horns like a lamb, and he spoke as a dragon. So those two horns, horns symbolize his power. Okay, and uh, those two horns that symbolizes what the Democrat and the Republican, which goes back to Rome, the plebeian and the patrician. And that lamb is them coming with their own uh, pseudoscience, coming with their own left handed, uh, left handed um, uh, savior. Okay, and spoke as a dragon. Yeah, draconian, speaking with a tyranny, a cruel dictatorship, a cruel rulership. You have to uh, uh, take a, a device. It, under your hand or under your uh, uh, under your hand or under your forehead to be able to be linked in to be able to just be a slave that's why they speak about you will own nothing and be happy okay and that's what they're speaking about they're cutting off what the um the cars you're not going to be able to drive your car because it's going to be too much of a carbon footprint okay and they're telling you that they want to depopulate the earth right and these are the so-called smart people of the world when the lord said what well, um be fruitful and multiply Showing you that this is the devil because everything he pushes is what death. So, I want to get a couple more uh, articles. This is, uh, let's see, okay, I got that. And I did articles on both of these, I'm just bringing them out. It says the Pentagon adopts. Pentagon adopts first department wide policy to address social media. Okay, so that's what we're speaking about as far as the art the first article. This is just a different one. Um, it basically says the same thing that they're putting forth what their their unrighteous decrees. Okay, they're just putting them out as just a, a guideline, but these are gonna be the decrees. Okay, which is ultimately gonna take a lot of the people out of the military. That normal that that normally they're not going to try to uh, kill the civilians and, and replacing them with these other people that will. UN declares war on dangerous conspiracy theories. The world is not secretly manipulated by global elite. 
Okay, the UN declares war on dangerous conspiracy theories. The world is not secretly manipulated by global elites. Okay, so these are not conspiracy theories. These are conspiracy facts. Conspiracy means two or more gathered together to do wickedness. And that's what they were doing. Okay, and now they're bringing it what to the light. They're letting the people know. Okay, and, and the, what the elect is exposing them for who they actually are. And they're being made bare. So now they're crying out by what? The UN, the United Nations, which the United Nations is joined... Um, with the whore, okay? You have the whore, which is Babylon the Great, which is America, okay? That's what uh, joined unto what the B system, which is the NATO and the EU, which consists of about 30 different nations, okay? That are consulting together to bring forth their new world order, okay? And I did videos on that, you know, brothers, check them out, um, you know, on my page, right? So we have, I'm just bringing these out because this is all coming all these things are happening in what a very short time the lord said he would what interrupt their enterprise okay uganda's military demands citizens dna for a digital identity rollout okay you have this lady look at you know what i'm saying digital id okay And that's what they're uh, doing. They're forcing that. You have that over there. Um, also, BlackRock, which is like the number one place. BlackRock is buying out, uh, bought out what Ancestry.com. Uh, okay. Salakia. All right, Salakia. So, Uganda's uh, military demands citizens DNA for a, uh, for a digital, uh, digital identity rollout. Okay, and that's the same thing, uh, BlackRock, BlackRock by uh, Ancestry.com, right? And so what are they trying to do? They're trying to be able to test what the DNA, to be able to uh, bring forth what these pestilence that can be able to mix with the DNA, those that what took the, um, the hot sauce, okay? This was also another article that, um, you know, I already did a lesson on it. It says, remember the government hit list of... 72 different types of Americans who could terrorists when you think about it says uh, different types of Americans who could be terrorists when you think about the top secret doc that just leaked hinting uh, FEMA camps ahead okay and that was so so called leaked right but this is ultimately to bring forth fear mongering but this is also part of the scriptures that they would what try to um, that some of us shall be put into these uh, internment camps Okay, anyone that opposed Agenda 21, which now they're what in Agenda 2030. Okay, anyone that is opposed to what the New World Order. Okay, and we're we're opposed against the New World Order, right? Because we know that Yahweh Shai is going to be what taking this place down. Okay, so that's why we're not supposed to make no covenants with this devil. Okay, so going back to uh, Psalms, Psalms 94, verse 1. Okay, and 20. Psalms 94 and 20. So shall the throne of iniquity have fellowship with thee, frameth mischief by law. They gather themselves together against the soul of the righteous and condemn the innocent blood. But Yahweh is my defense and my power. Yahweh is the rock of my refuge. And he shall bring me upon them in iniquity and shall cast them out of their own wickedness. And yeah, the Lord Yahweh shall cut them off. So the Lord is going to cut them off right now. He's um, taking that lamp out of their out of their house. OK, that um, let me get this. First, that dreadful sound is in their ears. They're having what the um, their their uh, that poison is in their in their bellies. That speaks about in Job twenty. It says Job fifteen and twenty one. A dreadful sound and is in his ears. And prosperity, the destroyer, come upon him. Okay, and the destroyer is what Yahweh Shai, and he's coming upon this devil. Okay, starting with the prophets that are what bringing forth that terror upon him. The Egyptian uh, Jacob shall be a terror to the Egyptian. Job 18 and 5, yeah, the light of the wicked shall be put out, and the spark of his fire shall not shine. The light shall be dark in his tabernacle, and his candle shall not be shall be put out with him. The steps of the strength shall be straightened, and his own counsel shall cast him down. And that's what you see in his own uh, people that were allied with him, that were confederate with him, are coming against uh, this devil. Okay, exposing what their, their wickedness, exposing their weakness, their uh, weaknesses. Right? Eight, for he is cast into a net by his own feet, and he walketh upon the snare. Okay, and that's what he's doing. He's walking upon a snare because what our Lord has what set a trap for him, which is ultimately uh, to what come against the Lord. Okay, he was created what that wrath or that um, that vessel fitted for destruction. Okay, skipping down. It says eleven. Terror shall be, 
shall make him afraid on every side and shall drive him to his feet. Okay. Yeah, he's going to be broken, broken down, starting with the inside of his economy and then the outside, because these other heathen nations are going to have the nuclear capability where they can bring this, uh, bring this um, queendom down. Right. 14. His confidence shall be ruled out of his tabernacle and he shall bring him to the king of terrors. It shall dwell in the tabernacle because it is none of his brimstone shall be scattered upon his habitation. His roots shall be dried up beneath and above shall his branch be cut off. His remembrance shall perish from the earth and he shall have no name in the street. Okay. He shall be driven from the light into the darkness and chased out of the world. He shall neither have son nor nephew among his people, nor any remaining in his dwelling. So again, it goes into what, if any of his son be uh, born, it shall be what for, for the slaughter. Okay. Roughly paraphrasing that 20. They that come after him shall be astonished at this day as they went before a frightened. So again, these uh, other heathen nations, they're going to see the destruction of Babylon the Great, which you, which you, uh, when you come against the, the Lord. Okay. 21. Surely such are the dwellings of the wicked, and this is the place of him that knoweth not Yahweh. So this place has no, um, they have what? Um, demonized our Lord, demonized the prophets, and now what? Their judgment is going to come forth. Let me read this again in the NLT. It says, they will say, this was the home of the wicked person, the place of one who rejected Yahweh. And this mother of all harlots, Babylon the Great, is headed for what? A great destruction. So with that, Kohala Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai Ba'ashim Rakakwadash. Shalom to the let. Kwam Yashallah.